Mirror image it is. So this helps tank, so you don't need a shop right at the beginning. You can go double burrow and grunts, because the damage is always ending up only on the mirror image. Scars is winning teller to slash. <laughs> on the other side, immolation. Okay. One might think mana burn might be the better alternative, but not for creeping. So Pato, very good inventory at the moment. And for once, the demon hunter is, <laughs> ironically, the hunter, as the blade master doesn't want to harass. He just wants to creep up. Very unintuitive, as in the past couple of years, the roles were reversed. Oh, last hit. I think it was to Pato. Ooh, that's sick. Nice slippers and ring of superiority, though. I appreciate that. On Pato. So he stole the item as well. My god, this demon hunter is a beast. Nah, nah, nah. He wants to prevent the last hit. Nice block. Archer here, though. Has to go for the deny. That's a big loss early. Mirror image crits as well, but only a little bit of damage. Elf thief. True. What's Pato doing in the meantime? Probably trying to do counter this with Dryads as they have natural dispel. So how do you find time now? Mana burn second. As it should be. Wow, you can creep this camp? Wow, pass it with a good scout though. Taking out the Berserker first, gets his own Berserker. Four more damage and Pato is too late. He got the information that this creep is going on, but I think he's just too late. Huh? Maybe with emulation you're never too late. This is more impactful than I thought. Nice little mana burns first, so no mirror image anymore. Careful now, brother! But if he focuses too much on the blade, that opens up the fight for the grunts. Ooh, scary. Crit, maybe potion? Crit! No way, dude. He has boots! Oh, Naga to the rescue. Nice scout on the right-hand side of the tavern. Realizing what's coming. If he's not scouting, he's probably chasing that demon hunter and then he's dead. So, demon hunter ultra hurt now. Part of low in supply. Expo. Expo into dryads. The crowd control doesn't work again. Speed scroll, critical strike, info potion, and now what? My god, Scar's playing with fire, literally. Gets the level up, that's fine. But at what cost? More archers. Water slaughter! Mirror image, what's the real one? It's trying to surround. Oh, mirror image is so exciting! God damn. Cool exchange. Who's ahead? Raider Walker coming, I guess, against uh, Dryad's always a good option. Blade Master not as pimped as he wants to be. Now it's Pato's turn. With the level 3 Demon Hunter, he wins that fight easily. But he decided to not creep and invest the time into harass. Oh my god, this Demon Hunter. 
Look at this DH. Triple ring. I appreciate. Good zoning by Pato. We're under attack. So I guess Scars is scaling better into the late game. Massively. Serpent one. No heal wave. Feels risky, man. Blade Master a little inefficient as he had to move back all the way. Maybe forgot the heal selves, not sure. Or used them already. But yeah, this demon hunter can. You can glue him to the orc army. I think heal ward was cancelled, heal wave was cancelled, heal self was cancelled. Okay, we got Link now, and then at some point you need heal scrolls when you can't afford it. Problem is, Pato has this expo up at like one quarter, one third. Just wait for crit level two, guys. These blade masters are beasts, but what do you do with the shadow hunter? He needs healing. Got it. Nets flying. Shadow hunter needs to be repositioned ASAP. Pato just clicking on the second hero, overcommitting maybe a little bit, but the lack of heal wave is biting him now. Level up. That helps. But the mirror images are cutting these dryads to pieces. Heavy loss on both sides again. Naga, no staff, no room for a TP and a double crit to save the day. When is the end snare ready? Can he trigger the invul or the TP? Absolutely can. What's it gonna be? Invul first. He can go for two more kills, potentially. One more. Oh my god. Oh my god! That was high pitched. Game on a knife's edge. Do the, the images do damage? Yes. Only 20%, but they do. And we're getting closer and closer to crit level 2. The serpent wards are amazing. Wait, is it 20%? They change it so often that I'm not too sure anymore. Ready to ride. But that also goes for crits. The crits are what hurts. Can someone look it up? What the actual value is? 20 or 15%. Uh, what are you doing here, Demon Hunter? Getting ensnared, eh? Immolation still strong with only level 1. Oh, Raider down. That takes some control out of the fight, otherwise it would have been locked down. Mirror image activated as well. Mercenaries don't stand a chance at all anymore. Oh, that poor Naga. Is out of position again. One staff. We have hex, but no mana, so he doesn't have to worry about that. Ring around the rosy dryads for once comfortable in what they do. But this is an awesome orc first night elf. Just pure fighting for 10 minutes straight, more or less. Town portal traded in wall activated. Maybe a little unnecessary there. And Pato is still mining. I don't know if Scars has an idea. If Pato wins, and it kind of looks like this right now, this wins him the game. Scars needs healing. Mirror image does 15% of the damage. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Then they changed it to 15. Thanks!
finally crit level 2. That's a huge damage boost as it's not only more damage for the blade but also for the illusions. So yeah, 15% of what's the average here? Of 80? No, of 40. It's 6 damage per hit. But he crits for... What is it? Oh, he gets heal wave now. Love it. For 150 max, right? So 10% is 15. A little bit more. Like about 17 damage to crit. 17, 18. And Scars gets some more kills, but he needs these kills without any big losses. But he has a lot more sustain in this fight. This might come as a surprise. Now Patu knows that there's no Hex. Double heal scroll and heal potion and an invo potion for Pato though. Not only is his army bigger, also his inventory is bigger. Everything is bigger in Brazil. That's what they say, right? Naga though, what is she doing? Where is... What the hell is this fight? Oh, not the best setup at all, the Pato losing three dryads for nothing. Ready to ride. Let's go take it out. Why are there peons? Uh, you apply spirit link. That's these. The glowing things that just disappeared and everything that is affected by spirit link shares the damage so for example if two units have spirit link and the attacker does 10 damage you don't take the full 10 damage on one unit but it's shared and then the damage distribution is more even and then heal scrolls for example or heal wave have extreme value Here's the next fight. Scars aiming for that expansion. Bla lots of dryads, but not 80 food or something. Now the mirror image got to carry, but they have dispelled very quickly. Muddy in the mix as well. You know, oh, Scars is not looking good for you, is it? New mercs in as well. But they should be taken out. Scars about to lose three of the raiders. It's seriously all down to the blade, but he gets a big kill on the mauler. That's huge experience. 4.6. Naga. Surrounded. Needs more healing. Oh, there's no mana on the Shadow Hunter though. Snake Pit opened up. Naga survives as he's breaking out of the surround. And I think Scars is just banging his head against the wall. Or will the snakes do it eventually? Pato diving way too deep into these. And the second mine is just up for a long, long, long time. Oh, that's a nice counter. Scars wants to squeeze out every single gold dime that he can his, get his hands on. As he's not an upkeep, it is pretty efficient. Demolishers now. All right. Pato never has the resource to go tier 3. Double invo potion on the heroes as... Uh, Oh wow, the demon hunt is getting very close to 5. If Scars can get 5-5, five, five, is that enough? Hmm. It's a big push. But he has to turn around. Oh, the fighting position isn't too good. The demo? 
might pack a punch, but good luck preventing the Demon Hunter from attacking it. So far, so good. Piercing damage of Berserkers, plus Serpent Wards works well. But no clarity here, only mana potion. Demon Hunter and Beast uh, and Blade Master are mano y mano. And more Berserkers fall. Also, Dryad's very hurt. Can Scars just fight through this? Demon Hunter under attack. Ring of Region goes a long way, of course. Not willing to turn around, now he does. Invul potion triggered. Waiting seven seconds, then retreat. No pressure on the second mine. Dude, that damn- What's the demon hunter doing? Ready to ride. Still, supply lead is big, but... Ah, oh, Skaz is retreating. He has to retreat. Yeah, he has no mana no more. And with that, it almost feels like game. Now a clarity should be running. Must be running, I'd say. Ready to ride. You need that post-fight clarity, you know. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no! You're not gonna get it when dry and shoot their spears at you! One shot, one kill. Oh, this is just a slow and steady demise now. Scar's getting caught with his pants down and Pato. He had to fight hard for this win. If there's no miracle, Pato wins this. Supply lead is too big. Demon Hunter's closing in on six. Level five, Shadow Hunter, okay. But I think Pato will just run out of Serpent Ward's range, or will he not? No, he's tanking this. Waiting for the seven seconds to be over, but Naga also gets level five. Blade gets level five. Wait a minute. Is it possible that Scar still wins this? Not without Shadow Hunter mana, I think. Not without mana at all. Uh, if only you could eat your own units, huh? Okay. There must be some sort of sick hero focus because the demon hunter is close to level 6 and that's the tap out point. Level 6. No mana for meta, but he can be staffed out, then come back in. Blade, only level 5. Shadow Hunter needs more mana. 300 gold floating for Scars. Maybe the mana potions and clarities are out of stock? I don't know. But Pato, he's trading his Dryads as if it's nothing, and that's the end for the Blade. I oh, no! Potion! Okay. Spirit Link applied one more time. And Scar stays alive, but... More or less just that. The Dryads can fight this because of their poison. The damage tied up doesn't favor them. But the poison damage is uh, not affected by this. Mirror Image! No more income though. Pato still has income. Block. <gasps> Staff must be ready. Oh, GG. Couldn't get it, Pato, my man. The resilience here. Well done. Scars, still of the opinion that this is working fine. But it wasn't his game to take. Springtime goes to the Night Elf. There we go. And that is pretty much match points here. Uh,
let me check real quick. Uh, do players know that I'll be casting? As we jump in into map number two. Last chance for Scars to score here on play day one in division one. Mirror image is awful in the early game. I don't know. I think it depends on if your opponent lets you creep or not. Because Pato invested a lot to disrupt this Blade Master play as teammates with the new team PA. They probably know each other well. Almost a risky ancient of war here. Far, far, far outside the base. Work complete. Work complete. Blade Master again. Demon Hunter again. Okay, base gonna be wide open. But then once this camp is finished, Demon Hunter can go for a circlet. Nice boost and then pretty much rest. Immediately. Can Scars find a way to abuse this ancient war position though? Ready to work. Work complete. Yeah, I could still see a Blade Master Windwalk opener and then a book, uh, Tomb of Retraining later. The, that is. Just, yeah, I can see that. Windwalk is really good. It's a wonderful spell. <laughs> Creeps are packing a punch. Nicely shifting aggro though. Fate Master does the same, just without a tree. With a little bit of magic. He's the illusionist. And then we rock and roll. That means also circlet for a Blade Master it was certainly a problem. That he couldn't find any items. Any damage boost in the early game. Ooh. Important. No raiders, no control, so the demon hunter can easily walk it off. Wonderful items for him. Up until the arrival of Dryads, you know, Rings of Protection could be very good. As it also helps the illusions to be more tanky. Wonderful now, by the way. Three bars in one spot. Scars is getting a bit pummeled here by this strong demon hunter. His strat takes time! And Pato is not allowing that time. It's also very item dependent, of course. Couldn't even finish the camp because the demon hunter was here. Rough start for Scars.
quite hard. But you can catch up in creeping, maybe. Against stimulation is also super hard. In Pato, there's no real reason to move away from a strat from before, right? Oh, crystal ball, my god, this guy's so unlucky. <laughs> Expand mass dryads. Wonder if you, if heal wave hex is the better choice, especially with spirit link. Look at this. Maybe it was just the Naga. So you can save the Demon Hunter on game one. We're under attack. Our town is under attack. Level three. Another ring. Oh god. Yube is not happy with that. Here's the hex. Chance for a surround, maybe. Oh, I wanted to get the mirror image in front, but that didn't work. Oh, that surround slips as well, Scars! Playing with butter on his mouth. Ooh, that was a huge investment. Ay, 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 ay. And people say night elves can't surround. Pato in a good spot. We don't have a grid up because it contains spoilers, so... Yeah, what can you do now? Just creep and hope for the best, I guess. Scout early. Keep your eyes open, not get deterred from that surround. But so far, that's a pretty one-sided game, I gotta say. Killing these heroes is so difficult because there's a lot of armor on the Demon Hunter, there's a lot of HP on the Panda. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, Missed Chances. No stab though. Muddy! Here we go. As we have no hex no more, we need a little bit of control and that forces the town portal. Not bad. And Expo in the works. Slowly, but also steady. And then Dryads have a big issue in breaking Expos. Pato's Expo growing. But he catches him again at the creeps. Double fire immolation and breath. Pretty much fries everything. Is piercing damage meta not over? Scars is diving deep on the panda though. Blade Master out of the fight true for now at least. And this Grunt Raider army just doesn't cut it without support. The only one who cuts it is obviously the Blade Master. <laughs> Thank you AMA credit. I refuse to be number three bidder with the 200 bits. Much love. Oh my god, the mercs are falling. So much attention to the Ancient of War. Scars is losing absolutely everything. What's left? The heroes, eh? 
And a raider. Wow, par to smashing these fights. Dry is chasing. Blade Master could get two more kills, but that's the Shadow Hunter down. And he's the late game carry. But the late game carry in this game is gonna be the Panda. Pato buying enough time for a second base. And yeah, that transition won't help Scars anymore either. Man, I was so excited to see this Blade Master mirror image thing work. I saw the Blade Master mirror image, I didn't see it work. <laughs> Good defense though, high damage. It is unwinnable, is it? After the hero kill especially. It's a berserker, all right. Dryads, just so much control. Also, Ring of Region and Sobi Mask on the Panda. It's just fantastic. Headhunter transition doesn't work anymore because the poison takes them out. The Breath of Fire also. Not sure if Headhunters are the play here. And part two going tier three as well. On top of this, Orb of Venom, Bears. It's just so much. For I don't know if there's so much vengeance here. Part of taking a sweet time. Ready to work. At least it's two base, two base now. But no reinforced. Panda can burn it down. One big attack for Scars. Especially when Pato's busy at the red. That might do something. Claws plus 12 though. Oh, yo, yo, this Demon Hunter plus 18 damage. He's preparing that attack. It's the biggest attack that Scars can muscle. And it's a split attack as well. This wasn't even a breath of fire. Oh, the peons all burning. Welcome to the burning orc festival. In the meantime, shop down here. Base under attack. No Kodos though, that makes it really hard to deal with bears. <laughs> and yeah, killing a great orc, okay, that also takes some time. Level 5 Demon Hunter again. This is. Demon Hunter is unstoppable! It is a lot of structural damage. We do have pillage. Scars getting income. There is a chance of him turning this around. Oh, it hurts. But he needs that base advantage. 
And with the demon hunter here, you can't have the raiders here. Scar's mining again. But yeah, that was a big attack. That was the one storm Scars had to weather. Bears greater orc regardless of the army comp. That is obviously false. Ready to work. And Dryads are super quick. Good decision making and positioning by Pato. Got the level super quickly, grinding that panda up to 5 as well. He's in a bit of a bad spot now, but if the panda and the bears are up front as they are now, yep, he gets that level 5. Sneezes once again. And man, those sneezes are not to be underestimated. There's no way Scars has the slightest chance. This entire game derailed very quickly. As Pato was ahead. Pretty much the entire game. Kodo 8. But. <laughs> okay, we live. The Riju would be so good now. Scars doesn't have the spell. Like, Riju is like living invul potion. Can't get rid of it. You just can't. You need to have a solution for that. GG! Well played! And that is also part of taking the W. I didn't expect a 2 0 here. I love and respect Pato, but I didn't expect a 2 0. Strong.